Okay, so I got another printer in. So I guess it's a Flash Forge Creator Pro. Um, yeah, I mean, I get all different kinds of printers. It's not really... It doesn't really make a difference. I mean, I, I just figure them out, but it's it's cool to see all the different designs. This is sort of like a Core XY. Um, bed goes up and down. Um, dual, dual extruder. Yeah, I don't think I've ever worked on one of these before. So, uh, I'm guessing Marlin. Just by looking at the display, it's probably Marlin. Um, no clue what's wrong with this thing. So I guess I'll fire it up. Do some tests on it, home it, see if the end stops are working correctly, and uh, do a test print, see if it's clogged up, see what the problem is. Like, I have no clue what the problem is, so. Um, Alright. Let's see here. Utilities. Yeah, it's kind of an unusual layout for Marlin. I mean, it could, might not be Marlin, but uh, let's try Utilities. Filament odometer. Whatever. Home all axis. Alright. Okay, X works. Y is kind of there's an end stop back there. Like I said, I've never even worked on one of these printers before, so. Yeah, pretty noisy. Okay. So it's a glass bed. Yeah, I wonder if there's any. Uh... Okay, so it looks like you level the bed with a couple of the adjuster screws. So it's not a probe on there. Um, all right. The uh, filament load. Load. Okay, right, left. I'm guessing left would be the primary. I mean, not sure what they consider the primary on this one. I'm guessing load left. Press left to cancel. Okay, so it's heating up 210. Um, let's see what kind of rod. I'm looking at it's PLA plus. Eson, yeah, PLA plus. Okay. All right. So if I go to the instructions, kind of cool extruders. Um, now I noticed that the fan with, with, with the fan in this direction. It's interesting they both went on. I want that. Wouldn't left be considered the other one? See that right there? I, I mean, what, what I think is interesting here is that they're instead of actually pushing air into the heat sink, it's pulling and sucking it out. So if the fan's in that orientation where you see the back of it facing you, the air direction goes to the back of it. So I'm going to look online and make sure these fans are correct. But it seems like, I think, like if it's a cooling fan and came on on the right, it seems like it would be the opposite. Right? Right? And also, I think it's not so you're, you're facing from the back. I don't know. I guess what I can do is just feel the extruder, see which one's hot. Okay. Well, I think I know what the problem is now. So, the left is hot. The left extruder is hot, but the right fan is on the extruder cooler, right? So, by having the fans reversed, it's going to create heat creep, and you're going to have some serious jamming. So, I'm assuming that's what the problem is. So, these fans are, I, I got to take these fans off. I think flip them around, and uh, this fan should be on over here because this one's heating up right now, and the fans aren't cooling it off. All right? That makes sense. Hopefully, it makes sense. So whoever took this apart put the fans in backwards. Um, and I think reverse too, but I don't look online and see. Um, because every single fan I've ever seen blows into the actual heat sink and not through it this way. I mean, there also would be benefit because you're taking air away from it. But, all right, so I think that's uh, going to be the issue because this, okay, I don't know if I'm going into too much detail or not, but this will, if this is not being cooled off this heat sink, it's going to it's going to allow the heat to come up, right? 
then it's going to create clogs into the extruder. So whatever does any retracting, it's going to melt way too high up and jam the whole system up. Alright, so I reversed the fans. But look at some other pictures online. And that's how they, I mean, that's the way it only makes logical sense. Um, yeah, that I also verified online. You know, if the fan is blowing in the wrong direction, you're pulling there, you're not going to get the same kind of cooling effect. So, you, so even if they, the fans were in the right order, you'd still be actually, you know, not getting the, the, the maximum cooling capacity because their fans are in the wrong direction. All right, so let's try this again. Usually when it gets to 50 degrees, the fan kicks on. But that's all defined in the firmware in Marlin or Clipper. Um, the cool thing is it's actually running a pulse with modulated board. So the fan, so it's probably, it's running, a, a, I mean, maybe a newer board, but a lot of the older boards didn't have pulse with modulated cooling fans, so these things would stay on 24-7. But now it's, I'm loading the left side, and it's blowing the right side. And once it gets to the heat up, I'm going to load it in there. Alright, so yeah, as I suspected, this thing has a horrible jam. Um, just because it was some cooling off, right, so it's probably jammed up way high. I'm going to take the fan back off and uh, I'm going to heat it up with the fan, you know, let the heat decreep and then see if I can push it through. Alright, so I'm not sure if you guys understand the concept of this, what I'm trying to do here. So by not having the fan here, I'm allowing this block to get super hot here. And that's going to allow me to use this hard rod and push the filament in past the clog. If not, then I have to take the whole thing apart. But I'm hoping the heat creep will heat this plastic up that's clogged up here. I can push it through. Alright, so I also have these little connectors here that I use. And now I can push the jam through because I've actually allowed it to heat up up into here. Kind of a weird setup, but um, I got it through though. And I have a jam on the other side too as well. It should be thoroughly heated up now. Yeah, pretty warm. All right, got down. Flash Forge Creator Pro. Um, God, these dual extruder designs, man. I mean, they're proprietary, but it's man, they're kind of a headache. This one actually almost better than the uh, <laughs> better than the Race 3D. This thing was a ser serious nightmare. Um, all right, so I got to go and get back to the customer. Um, I mean, that's a cool printer, I guess. You know, I'm printing out a calibration cube. I mean, it's an old, obviously an older style printer, 8-bit board. You can tell how noisy it is. Older style, like, uh, drivers. Um, yeah, the main issue with this one was that the fans were reversed. So they weren't blowing, and uh, the cooling fan was back. It was reversed. So the right... Uh, side was cooling the left side. So what's happening is allowing heat creep. That's what I think. I mean this thing actually, this design of this extruder system is going to have jams no matter what. I mean I looked at it and I mean I have a feeling this is going to be a problem no matter what but I mean just because of the design of the extruder system. I mean it, there's not even a PTFE tube in the liner so I mean you're it's all 100% metal. So there's a lot of issues when you you know pulling the film out uh, getting stuck pieces in there. But, um, alright, cool, another 3D printer fixed. So I think I fixed uh, six or seven this week. Um, yeah, I'm getting busier and busier with this stuff. I guess uh, Google is making my website better. But if you're in the Orange County area, um, you want your 3D, want me to look at your 3D printer, it's uh, down below, oc3dtech.com. Alright, cool.